Well, hello everybody, and welcome to G-Bear's Off-Grid Ways. And today, as promised, I'm going to show you the experiment on a different type of sand battery. Or as the guy that I saw the, do the video on YouTube called it, his dirt battery. And uh, I kind of, when I watched it, I kind of shrugged my shoulders and said, that can't possibly work. But since I've played around with dirt batteries before, I've got to give this a try and see for sure. Okay, so what he did, let me explain that to you first so you know what we're getting into. What he did was he took a plastic container, like an old uh, coffee grounds container, and... Uh, he put dirt in it or sand or whatever, and then uh, put a little bit of crushed char wood charcoal on the top of that. Then he made two electrodes, one out of a piece of half-inch copper pipe, and the other one he used a um, galvanized piece of all thread. Okay, so, so those were his electrodes that were sitting down inside. So he, first he put the dirt in the container, and then he sprinkled the um, carbon or the charcoal powder after he crushed it all. He sprinkled that over the top of the dirt. Then he placed his electrodes in there, and then he poured hydrochloric acid, and hydrochloric acid is pool acid. That's what you put in your swimming pool to balance the pH. Okay, so he put some of that in there. And then it says, uh, wait two hours. And then it shows him connecting up a, um, a meter to it and getting like 12 point something or 13 volts out of it. And then he hooks up a light bulb to it and gets light out of it. And then the video closes as he's laying down at night with the light on and his homemade battery right there beside him. And he is reading a book by the light of the light bulb. And then he gets quickly through the book and closes it, gives a thumbs up, and he's off. So, let's see. Fact or fiction? Any guesses out there? Well, let's go find out. So yesterday, I put the thing together. Now remember, he used a piece of half-inch copper tubing, and he used a piece of galvanized um, all-thread. I used a piece of a galvanized conduit here, um, figuring I'd get a little bit better electricity out of that than... Um, out of a piece of all thread. Anyway, um, I thought that maybe the two being closer to equal size, good transference of electrolysis, good battery, right? All right. So I had my um, voltmeter over here. And the reason it's over here, I'll explain in a minute. So I have my voltmeter over here, and uh, I took a reading on it right after I put it together, and I had about a half a volt. So he said, wait two hours. So I waited two hours. I came back, and I had a quarter of a volt. So I said, well, I'll let it sit overnight. So I did, and I came out this morning. And I had a little over a half a volt. <laughs> okay. Now that's got everything in it, as you can see. It's got the charcoal flo floating on top. It's got the acid in there. And it's got the dirt below it. But uh, never got over, um, let's say, a third of a volt. That's all I saw. So I said, I wonder, what happens if I charge this? So that's why my voltmeter was over here. Because I took my 
uh, AC to DC system here. I set it at 14.2 volts, which should give a good battery charge. And I connected my wires up to the battery. I had the battery sitting here and charging. And uh, it started off at the 14.2 volts and it had high amperage. It was showing you know, 8 point something amps on there. And then the amps started dropping and dropping and dropping. I said, oh, I wonder what that's all about. Well, then the voltage started dropping and dropping and dropping. So I came back over here and I said, well, I'm going to disconnect it, bring it back over to the bench and set it up for the video so I can take a voltage reading on it. Well, guess what I found out? Look at that. The acid ate right through the pipe and disconnected it from the battery. So, in my opinion, total failure. The guy is a scam artist. I hate people that go on YouTube and put phony videos on there just to get thumbs ups and views. It's irritating as hell that somebody would waste other people's time watching the video and then waste their um, components and stuff that they have that they could use for other stuff trying to put the experiment together only to find out that the whole thing was a hoax. Okay, now I do have to admit, like I said, I did believe from the beginning that it was a hoax. And I just had to prove it to myself, so I reached over and got a pair of these needle nose. So if I can pull this up. Okay, so I got it up there. Let me see if I can move it a little closer. Yeah, the acid's just eating that copper right up. So anyway, let's try turning this on. And I love this Kiwitz meter. It turns on and goes to auto. So whether you're going to check uh, voltage, ohms, or amps, or anything like that, it'll all automatically determine what you're trying to test, and it'll set, set up for that. So I'm going to be checking volts here. So here we go. So I got two, three volts, 2.5 volts, 1.6 volts, 2.0 volts. But anyway, that's nowhere near 12 volts that this guy was claiming he got. And like I said, the acid ate the copper pipe completely ate right through it. And that was a good piece of copper pipe, too. So, fail. So if you see a video like that, don't waste your time. Don't waste your materials. Just forget it. Move on. All right. So that's it for today. Or, actually, that's it for this morning. I'm working on a couple other experiments. And uh, I'll let you know what those are about. So this is G Bear reminding you for a thumbs up, like my videos, please. Those really count. Don't forget to share and don't forget to subscribe and leave comments all the way down there at the bottom. And questions. This is G Bear signing off.